Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel AV and Me. And uh, today's live stream, obviously, uh, I promise with you guys that I'll come online. And if you guys have any questions about how to live stream uh, using your DSLR camera and uh, external microphone, etc., then how would you achieve that? Uh, so if anybody has any questions, then uh, during the live stream, you can ask me or after the video, you can ask me. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to test my sound uh, right now, how I'm sounding. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, uh, sound and stuff, it's all right. And uh, uh, if you, the main advantage of using your DSLR camera is uh, the lenses that you can change and uh, the picture quality you get out of it. And uh, also, also, uh, 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 the picture quality you get out of it and also you could utilize external microphones like the one I'm utilizing right now and uh, you can probably hear how crisp and clean the audio is and uh, if you uh, look uh, on my live stream right now you can probably notice that there is no eject ring and stuff and my lip sync uh, it's matching correctly with my DSLR camera and my uh, audio is warm and uh, it's it's better quality audio uh, rather than using the audio from webcam microphone or built-in microphones. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, as you can see, like, uh, as I said, there's no juttering and stuff because I'm watching myself uh, on iMac as well. And uh, I can see uh, that that the connection is good. Uh, so it all depends what is your upload speed as well. But YouTube recommends that your minimum upload speed is around 3 megabits per second. And uh, Facebook at the moment is around 2.5 megabits per second. If you are uh, live streaming in... 1080i or 1080p. Now, the limitation with DSLR HDMI output is that it outputs in live view mode at 1080i at 60 hertz. This is the limitation. But if you're using an external DV cam coders and stuff and taking the HDMI output from that, you can probably get 1080p at uh, 60 hertz or even 1080p at 24 uh, frames per second or 30 frames per second then obviously you can uh, do a lot of stuff in your exploit uh, to match your video input and your video output and same applies to audio input and audio output so uh, as I said guys uh, this is the cheapest way to uh, live stream on YouTube and uh, Facebook but it's also the superior way as well like it gives you the pro audio and video quality on a budget if, if you are on a budget that's the main purpose of this live stream that if somebody is on budget and they can't spend a lot of money on expensive broadcasting webcasting equipment then they can use few uh, good equipment uh, already in the house or already in the organization uh, to create something like this for live streaming. Okay, I'm just going to do my sound test again. Okay, uh, so um, as I can see, I uh, have no uh, viewers at the moment and stuff uh, there were a few people who joined but they left uh, so uh, guys if you have any questions uh, once you uh, watch this afterwards then you can obviously ask me now what I've done is I've taken an output uh, via HDMI from the DSLR camera and I've plugged it into a, a capture card and then I've connected that capture card to my laptop via USB uh, 3.0.
The beauty of that capture card is it takes line input and mic input. So what I'm doing is I have connected my uh, Shure SM58 microphone uh, to my uh, Tascam uh, DR70D recorder. And I've then taken a line output at mic level because it has got that option. And then I have plugged it into the mic input of this capture card. And then obviously this capture card is connected to my computer via USB 3.0 and then in XSplit I've configured it. Uh, I'll share the screen with you guys. Uh, let me just change the size of this. And hopefully XSplit would allow me to do that on free license. Okay. So I'm just gonna, yeah, it's allowing me to basically change the size of the windows and stuff. So that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna add my desktop so you guys could see. Okay, so when I go here and right click inside where I'm receiving my camera window, where I'm receiving the signal from the cam camera, then I can configure a lot of stuff here, whether I wanna use the built-in audio and uh, audio output, what system, just, just if, if you are connecting a microphone directly to mic input of your laptop, then select the built-in uh, microphone and stuff, or if you have connected an audio interface via USB, then collect the built-in audio, but always make sure you mute this microphone icon right here. Otherwise, it's gonna result in a feedback. And uh, probably right now you guys can see I'm getting steady 30 frames per second because that's what I've configured XSplit to output and input. So I'll show you exactly. I've selected my camera source, which is Evermedia GC550 uh, video capture card. Now the beauty about this capture card is, as I told you, it has got uh, DAC converters built in. It has got a mic line input and it has got a line input. Uh, this is the beauty of this capture card. And then uh, if you are getting a signal uh, on HDMI line, like the audio signal, you can mix it with the line or mic signal as well. Uh, I mean, it captures analog audio and then it mix it with digital audio uh, that's that's beautiful. Uh, I mean, uh, on on a budget, this is this is like a really pro uh, function to me. Uh, okay, uh, so select your uh, camera device and stuff, and then go on configure. If you can see, like on video input, it gives me uh, these options, and uh, my video input is obviously HDMI and my audio input I've selected HDMI plus mic. So what I've done is obviously taken a line output from my Tascam DR70D and I've plugged that into mic input of this capture card. And then I'm telling XSplit that, look, whatever is coming on the mic line and HDMI line, mix it together. Uh, so this is a really useful feature. I mean, and then it has got like a lot of other setting. It has got aux in as well, I as I said. So the aux in is the line input. And obviously HDMI plus mic is the uh, mic input plus the HDMI audio. So yeah, I've selected that. And uh, for the video decoder, I've just selected unknown. Uh, if you are 100% sure what you are what region you are in or what your camera is outputting and stuff, then uh, you should select. Otherwise, just select unknown. Uh, I know that in UK, it's pal uh, underscore I. And uh, in US, it could be NTSC underscore M. Uh, but if you're unsure, just go ahead, click on unknown and and then just click on OK. And just leave the rest to default and stuff, click OK. Now, uh, this is what we have configured the input. Now we need to configure the output.
And as you can see, my uh, camera image will come back shortly because I was configuring it and it just went away. So this is how you configure your camera. And uh, if you have any questions, then you can ask me right now. Uh, I mean, I'm sharing the desktop, as you can see, like uh, from this capture card, I'm getting steady 30 frames per second. Uh, and and uh, as I said, the live view window uh, from my DSLR camera is outputting 1080i at 60 hertz. Uh, if I turn on the global view on my DSLR camera, then you will see a lot of settings here like inside uh, this window, uh, you'll see the microphone input levels, you'll see the histogram, you'll see like uh, what the white balance is, all that information. So don't get me wrong like why this window appears in a box because you are utilizing your uh, DSLR live view uh, output to stream on YouTube or Facebook. Mm. I mean, you're not using a pro camera uh, to output or you're not using like uh, a camera that is designed for uh, live cost or broadcast. You're just using a camera feature which is live view output from HDMI to utilize it for YouTube or Facebook live streaming. Okay, uh, so that's how you configure your camera and stuff and uh, Obviously, in uh, part one of this video, I showed you guys how to configure YouTube and Facebook and stuff. And as I said, uh, uh, Facebook, uh, at the moment, the upload speeds are limited to 2.5 megabits per second. And uh, on YouTube, it's uh, uh, 3 megabits per second, uh, just under 3 megabits per second. Make sure when you're doing this kind of live stream, especially if, if you're doing it uh, uh, for an for important event uh, that you want to broadcast or live cast to YouTube, just make sure you've got enough upload bandwidth. I would recommend up to minimum 5 megabits per second to 10 megabits per second. But if you can't get that kind of uh, upload speeds, as, as I said, obviously, uh, it's my upload speed at the moment is 3 megabits per second. So as you can see, I'm live casting my desktop and uh, I'm live streaming my uh, camera and it's all right. Uh, so I'm just going to take desktop out of the equation now and just going to increase the screen of my camera. Okay. Another limitation I have found out with XSplit free license is obviously if you want to uh, live stream in 1080p at 30 frames per second, uh, then there would be a, a watermark logo, which you guys can see on the right bottom side of the screen. And also, Another thing I've noticed is, as I was explaining, like I'm using an external microphone, which is coming via uh, Tascam 70D uh, professional recorder. And that's going into my game capture card uh, via line output and then mic input. So the way I can use external multiple microphones is possible this way. So if I take a line output from Tascam 70D and plug it into the line input of this capture gaming device, I can have multiple microphones. But on the free license of XSplit, somehow when you try to use multiple microphones that way, it just detects it and it doesn't allow you. So it just allows you one microphone. So I'm just trying to think like, how would they know that, you know, this signal is uh, getting two different microphone feeds, uh, whereas I'm just sending multiple microphone feed as a mix. So how they know, I mean, I'm still trying to think that in my head, like how that is possible. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, 
I mean, this is how you live stream and stuff. So, uh, uh, as I said, uh, using the free exploit, there are obviously some limitations and stuff. When I test the external microphones without uh, the live stream options, both of them they get detected on the com excuse me on the computer uh, and inside XSplit. But when I try to uh, test the external microphones on uh, a live stream, then only one microphone works. So this is the limitation of using the free license of uh, XSplit. As I said, there are a few limitations, but again, if you get, I mean, this is SM58, probably you can hear some warm audio out of it. Uh, if you, this is like probably 80 or $90 in US and about 80 or 100 pounds in UK. And then the capture card would cost you around $100 as well. Uh, and, and then you can utilize your DSLR camera, which you already own, to, to live stream or web stream or live cast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so uh, YouTube is still in early stages of uh, this live stream. And still Facebook, they are in early stages and stuff. But look where the technology has evolved. I mean, if you wanted to do something like this 10 years ago, it would have cost you thousands of dollars of thousands of pounds. And now I'm just sitting down in my house office and I'm just live streaming uh, for like literally probably uh, 10 pence an hour. Uh, so so this is this is the beauty of technology nowadays. Like if, if you know what you're doing with your devices and what you are doing with your software, you can do a lot. You can achieve a lot. Uh, so instead of going and spending a lot of money on expensive and latest and greatest gear, you can still use your old gear to produce good quality audio and video. It's just the knowledge of how to do it. You need to do it correctly. If everything is configured correctly, you will get superior quality. And uh, as you can see, like on, on the live stream, you will probably hear good quality audio and you're getting better quality video. Uh, so this is how you do it on the budget. And uh, obviously I'll put this video for public view uh, after the live stream. So if you guys have any questions like how to do all this setup on a budget and live stream to YouTube and Facebook using external microphones, then ask me all the questions and uh, I'll answer in due time. All right, guys, hope you have uh, liked this live stream and this video uh, for later viewers. And uh, I'll catch up with you. Have a good weekend. It's a lovely sunny day in London. So, uh, you know, I just want to go and spend some time outside because we don't get sunny weather here in London uh, that often. So I'm just going to go outside, have some fun, go to gym, and you guys enjoy your weekend as well. And I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.